and I am uh, uh, project development manager for the Hydrogen Solutions in North America. One part of that history that we, we didn't mention was that Linda was actually the first guy to figure out how to capture oxygen and... That's true, that's true. The, 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 uh, after sort of 20 years of kind of fooling around with industrial gases, sort of the 1860s, 70s, and 1880s, um, someone finally came up with an idea for what we can use for industrial gases, what we call industrial gases. And the first application for industrial gas was oxygen. And... Um, in the hospitals. Well, we use it in hospitals today, but the original one was for making big, bright fires in these little boxes that they called... Uh, uh, lights? Yeah, lights. <laughs> they, were, they were lights for the, the, what, what they call lime lights. We even have that, that term today when you go stand in a limelight. You're, you're standing in the bright lights. Right. So the first application was for the theater in London. Mm -hmm. and so they would have bright lights on. on and that's nothing more than captured oxygen. That's captured oxygen. They put it in bags and they put it on lorries, horse-drawn lorries, and they would take it and then somebody would sit on the bag and push the, push the oxygen out through a little bunch of tubes and go into the limelight. So... Then, then, then about uh, 20 years later, in the 1910 period of time, there was a guy named Lindy, Carl von Lindy, and he came up with a better way of making oxygen instead of a chemical method he, or an electrolysis method. He came up with just take the air, clean the air, chill the air, make it into a liquid, and then distill it, put it in a distillation column and separate oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and then you can recollect those and either ship it as a, in a bottle, a compressed gas bottle, or you can ship it as a liquid. So that we have now have a big, big industry today of, of uh, air separate, we call air separation plants, and they're all around the country. And we use oxygen for hospitals. We use oxygen for steel making. We use nitrogen as a as an inert gas. We 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 uh, we fill bags of salad mix with nitrogen to purge the air out, so that the salad lasts a long time between shipping it to the market. So there's a whole industrial gas business that's out there, and it really came from this one guy, Carl von Linde, back in uh, Germany in the, the, the late 1800s, early 1800s. So how do you go from oxygen to hydrogen? Well, um, hydrogen is... Um, um, hydrogen became, it, it's, it's been used for a long time as a, as a chemical feedstock. Um, it's also used for metallurgical applications. Uh, so if we are processing stainless steel, for instance, we have to have a high temperature process where we want to uh, soften the, the stainless steel, we would use hydrogen to protect it during that, that process. So we've been using hydrogen as an industrial uh, gas for uh, close to 100 years now. Um, and then... Um, again, going back to its, its density issue in terms of, I say, we went to the moon and the Russians didn't. They tried to go with kerosene, we went with liquid hydrogen. So they had to have, carry twice, two and a half times the fuel, they have to have two and a half times more powerful rocket motors. Um, and and that's was, that's it, sort of where we are today. That's kind of where we are today. We're now, 